Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to today's video where we dive into exciting world of centralized and decentralized exchanges. If you ever wonder about the differences between these two types of exchanges, advantages and disadvantages, and which one might be the best fit for you, you come to the right place. So grab your favorite snack, sit back, and let's get started. Okay, now let's begin with centralized exchange. These platforms act as intermediaries holding and managing users' funds on their behalf. They are run by a central authority or company such as Binance or Coinbase. Here are some of the advantages and disadvantages of centralized exchange. Firstly, centralized exchange often offer a user-friendly interface, making it easy for newcomers to navigate and trade cryptocurrencies. They typically have high liquidity, allowing for quick and efficient transactions. Additionally, centralized exchanges offer a wide range of trading pairs, making it convenient to access various cryptocurrencies in one place. They also provide customer support, which can be beneficial if you encounter any issues. However, there are some drawbacks to centralized exchanges as well. Firstly, since they are controlled by a central authority, there is potential for censorship and lack of privacy. Your personal information and transactions history may be subject to monitoring and even shared with third parties. Moreover, centralized exchanges are vulnerable to hacking attacks, and even a breach occurs, users' fund can be at risk. Also, these exchanges always have the possibility of bankruptcy and challenging investors such as FTX or Celsius. In the next video, I will explain more about some tricks for entering and exiting capital in centralized and decentralized exchanges. Now let's move on to decentralized exchange or DEXs. Unlike their centralized counterparts, DEXs operate on blockchain technology and enable peer-to-peer -peer trading without intermediaries. Some popular decentralized exchanges include Uniswap and PancakeSwap. Let's explore the advantages and disadvantages of DEXs. One of the significant advantages of DEXs is the enhanced security and privacy they offer. Since transactions occur directly between users' wallets, there is no central authority controlling your funds or personal information. Additionally, decentralized exchanges promote the principles of decentralization, enabling more democratic access to financial services. They are often open source allowing anyone to participate in the development and improvement of the platform. On the flip side, the centralized exchanges do come with some challenges. Firstly, they generally have lower liquidity compared to centralized exchanges, which can result in a slippage and higher trading costs. The user experience on DXs may also be more complex and less intuitive for beginners. Additionally, the lack of customer support can be downside if you encounter any issues during your trading journey. Now that we explore the advantages and disadvantages of both centralized and decentralized exchanges, how do we decide which type is better for us? It ultimately comes down to your personal preferences and priorities. If you value convenience, high liquidity and a user-friendly experience, a centralized ex exchange might be the way to go. On the other hand, if privacy, security, and principles of decentralization are important to you, then a decentralized exchange could be the better choice. For beginners, centralized exchange might provide a smoother onboarding experience, which more experienced traders and blockchain enthusiasts might appreciate the additional control and privacy offered by the centralized exchange. To wrap it up, both centralized and decentralized exchanges have their advantages and disadvantages. Centralized exchanges offer convenience and liquidity but come with concerns over privacy and security. Decentralized exchanges prioritize privacy and security but may be less user-friendly and have lower liquidity. Ultimately, the decision of which type of exchange to use depends on your personal preferences and needs. It's important to do your research, consider your priorities, 
and stay informed about the evolving land space of cryptocurrency exchange. I hope this video has shed some light on the difference between centralized and decentralized exchanges. Remember the world of crypto is constantly evolving, so make sure to stay curious, stay safe and happy trading. That's all for today's video folks, if you ever found it helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe us for next videos. If you have any question or suggestion, don't forget to write it below in comment sections. Have a nice day and happy trading.